such <clears throat> a wacky frame of mind. I'm still sick. It is viral now. I know that because with allergies you don't run a low grade temp usually and I have I can breathe better. The headache yesterday was from the fever or low grade. When you <laughs> so I I get home last night and I try to cool and take it easy, but I realize I want to do one load of laundry, so I'm doing that, and that's not that big a deal. I'm trying to relax and hydrate my ass off, and I just had the thought it would be nice if I could just hydrate my ass off. Uh, I digress because my mind is just gone. It's Friday, I'm sick, and I'm gone. And usually by Saturday, I'm offline up here. And I think that's already occurred. All right, are you going to merge? Oh. And no one on the road can merge today. And in discussing my train to work business, with people who give a damn about me. Uh, we've realized that to drive the car two miles, to take the train for 20 minutes and then walk for 30 minutes possibly on a road with no sidewalks that isn't that has nothing paved at the side of the road is a fool's errand. I'm like, okay, I'll ditch that idea for now. But I ask the RTA, I ask the RTA, the Regional Transit, Transit Authority, and Pace Bus, okay? Because I live in Chicagoland. I'm asking you, why is there no bus south of 159th and Cicero? Why can't you take from 159th and Cicero, which would be a great park and ride location because you've got the new parking lot with a train there, and take that south to University Park where there is a boatload of people driving cars there because there's no other way to get there. Parking lots full of cars. Full. But there's no bus. So what else are we going to do? And the Van Pool Project, RTA? No one wants to fill out that many forms to get this done. I am sorry fill out an application for the driver, an application for the substitute driver, applications for all the riders, then a daily log and a monthly log, and then some, and other things that, I, I swear there's more documents to fill out for it. No! I don't want another job, I just want to get to work and save gas! No! I don't want another job keeping a log of how many people ride in a car per day and did you pay your monthly fee and you have to pay to even join up and then you have to pay your monthly fee and then you have to establish whether your riders have paid their fee and it's like you know what I don't need another freaking job <laughs> van pool oh yes use van pool we'll even provide the van My time is valuable. Everyone's time is valuable. I don't need another job. I just want to get to the one I've got <laughs> without completely screwing the environment. Of course, I take this all very personally. It is my fault that polar bears are slipping off ice floes. It is my fault that there are floods throughout the mid middle corridor of the country. It is my fault the wildfires have been going on in Northern California. Earthquakes, you know, okay, I'll take it all on. Fine, fine. But you know what? I have found out, and I will tell you, that there is very little I can do about any of them as a single human being. Now, as a single human being, I've done one thing that seems to have reached some people. My website for Think Peace, Choose Peace 
has visitors from all over the world. All over the world. And I am amazed. So last night, while I was in the recliner, I figured I'm going to update the site. I didn't do anything fancy with it, really, except get tags on the pages correctly and links on the pages correctly. I have a whole page of some of the primary largest contractors. I'm not even talking Halliburton, really, because I don't even want to talk about them. I'm talking about the other large contractors and what their stock prices were yesterday and what the website is to them. And so you can see for yourselves um, what different companies do. And all over the world. I'm not talking the United States here. I'm talking about the world war economy. The world war economy. The world war economy. I'm saying that as much as I want peace, I know from what I have read what I have seen, that without war, until we can switch the whole world economy from war into peace, this can't happen. Now some of these companies do have peacetime lines of business, and some do not. I don't think Northrop Grumman has peacetime lines of business. I think they're all war related. But other companies do have peacetime lines of business. Augusta Westland is one that they make helicopter for, helicopters for police, rescue, you know, which I don't consider war. I don't consider police war yet. But I would encourage you to go to my site. It's on wikispaces.com, so it's got a really weird website address. It's thinkpeacechoosepeace.wikispaces.com. But, oh, they've got signs up now. Tobacco, lotto, and liquor. The last three things people in this area needed. Yes! Friday. It's the end of the work week. I'm done. I'm gone. I've been gone for days. I apparently am still gone because you know what? Of the three least things people needed in this area of many industries, tobacco, lotto, and liquor were the three things all of us in this little area of the world needed. <laughs> A nice restaurant would have been very cool. Even fast food would have been cool. Oh, a subway, something besides tobacco, lotto, liquor. Reminds me of a sign that I saw many years ago in Bloomington, Illinois. It was the best run on sentence I've ever seen. And I will give it to you now to close out this video. Now that I'm at work. Pepsi, beer, wine, Pepsi, liquor, Pepsi. That's what it said. <laughs> Best brown on sentence I've ever seen. Anyway, so the world goes to hell in a handbasket. I go to work and uh, make no difference. But you know what? The mood I'm in, I have no idea what I'm doing anyway. So you know what? I guess it. I guess I'll, that's okay. So okay. Everything's my fault and I can't do a damn thing about any of them.